before we go anywhere, since we have a uh, number of people here and I'm not sure everybody knows everyone else, so I'm going to start and go around the room. I'm Skip Olmsted, uh, Chairman of the Finance Committee. I'm Grant Bialik, I'm a Library Trustee and also the Treasurer of the Total Fund. I'm Sarah Woodbury, Library Director. Uh, Nancy Mayner, Trustee and Chair of the Trustees. Jeff Upton, Finance Member. Brenda Hill, Town Accountant. Bruce Hunter, our finance committee member. John Petrarch, finance committee. John Pereski, finance committee. And we're missing two members of the finance committee, one who will not be here and the other one who isn't here at this moment. So we'll see if uh, she does manage to get here. Um, <clears throat> I'd like to do the, uh, the minutes first, just to get those out of the way. And then uh, the library's on first. Make a motion to accept the minutes of last week. No second. So we have a motion, we have a second. Uh, any discussion? If there's no discussion, uh, all those in favor of the minutes as presented? Uh, aye. Aye. Opposed? I assume it's unanimous. That's one, two, three, four, five, zero, zero. Okay. Now, uh, Fred has gone through and, and uh, given us a list of a number of accounts that uh, or budgets that we can take a look at. Uh, just confident that uh, the selectmen have, have had their chance. Uh, and the first item on there is, is the library budget. Number is 610-5400. And that's the first budget under uh, the 600 numbers. And I'm going to turn it over to Sarah. Okay, thank you. Um, Take your time. Thank you. Well, I, I have some... Um, some handouts. Uh, the Board of Li Library Commissioners sends us these, and I thought, what better um, committee to have them than those about the state funding for um, libraries in uh, Massachusetts? Um, Brenda, uh, I guess I'll start. Uh, you know, talking about the. Uh, the salary increase, I think that there was some question, is that right? Uh, one of the members yes. here wanted mm -hmm. to know about that. Um, so we began, I began to look at it and, um, let's see, let's forgive it. Um, so it's about a 15% increase from last year. Um, there's several reasons for that. Um, First of all, it's on a new salary compensation plan, the FY19 draft plan that was uh, distributed. Um, the second thing is that uh, uh, the director's hours were increased to 40 and previous, <coughs> previously, not, um, they, they currently are at 40 hours, but they were not last year. Yeah, um, so, so we had budgeted for uh, 37 and a half. And uh, during the first part of this year, um, the trustees had decided that it would be a 40, 40 hour position, correct? Um, previously, 26 hours per year were added to an assistance position. Um, and so that's one of the reasons. Um, Friday hours uh, reverted to an assistant from the youth position. The youth uh, librarian was uh, handling those to take the place of an assistant who left and uh, it, uh, the position wasn't replaced, but now that we have people filling that position there, uh, that those Friday hours are going back to um, that. Um, so if I could, it yep. says 1,456 hours. Where are you? Uh, at the, on your budget here, for the youth. Uh, yes, okay, could I could talk about the, the that, that is the That is an increase from, um, can I just go through and finish this little list, oh, and then sure. I'll go and talk about okay. the youth position, why it's, John, you know, why it's okay. here. Thank you. Um, so there was also a three hours per week increase for the youth. That's what I'm going to talk about in a minute. 
and then a half hour was added to several staff uh, positions for uh, people who open the library so that um, when the key, the door is unlocked, we're ready to provide services rather than have people here. So um, the youth services librarian currently, um, the last year's budget was for 25 hours a week. It's been that way since 2014. Um, every spring, uh, the uh, 20 hours are ad, um, paid for um, summer reading preparation and um, implementation. Um, it's not budgeted for, it hasn't in the past been budgeted for. Um, <clears throat> so the, the, um, the reason that that's going from around 1300 to 1456 uh, is that um, is to add this 20 hours a week and also we're proposing that we uh, move her position from 25 hours a week to 28. Um, the library is open 35 hours a week. Um, ideally, it would be great if there was somebody who uh, takes a, a, not everybody can um, serve in the um, children's position. Um, and uh, the, the children's library needs off desk time to plan for activities and to prepare and uh, order books. So, there's also some uh, additional time added to the assistance. We've never uh, budgeted for hours uh, vacation coverage for the youth librarian position, which went from um, uh, 19 and a half to 25 in 2014. So that, that was never, we always kind of said, okay, well, you know, we'll handle it somehow. So this is an attempt to add um, three extra hours to the children's position. Um, bringing it up to 28 hours per week and to um, accurately ref reflect what people are actually working and or where, they're, where, they're um, where, they're, where they're working, where they're working, when they're working. Shall I go on? Yes. Okay. Can I ask one question? Or, uh, you bet. The uh, Schlockman put out some guidance to all the departments. Mm -hmm. Could you get that guidance? Um, I, I assume you're referring to level services? Yes. Okay. So um, our services, I have another little hand up. Um, the problem is if we allow everybody to go up 15% on the budget, we're constrained by state law, which says you can only go up 2.5% on taxes. Mm -hmm. Where are we going to get the money from? I don't want to be a wise guy or anything. I just want to know. Where do you expect us to find money on a tree? I don't if you let me know, I'd be glad to get out there and start picking up for you. But the problem that I have is that we have to somewhere stop and say, look, level services. You can't say, I'm adding, 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 and say, this is level service budget. It just isn't. Well, that, that doesn't sound wise, but it does sound a little facetious. Um, but I appreciate that you're going to give Sarah an opportunity to respond to the well, honest question there about that yeah, yeah. I, I just uh, objecting a little bit to the, the tone of your presentation I that, said I appreciate my, you saying you don't want to be a wise guy everybody and you're but not the only that one that will hear my tone well, I, I think I, I take it. the point the question is selectman asked the budgets be presented as level service and I think clearly your budget is uh, more than level service. So that's well, um, really the question. Let, let me Thank let you. me go on, um, and you can decide. This is a um, uh, for lack of a better title. It's just a, about um, our services and um, how they've changed. Uh, so you will see in uh, circulation the number of books that people borrow goes up every year um, the number of children's items goes up every year um, and people always want to know about the <coughs> e-books and how they relate to the uh, borrowing of uh, physical books and so that's there and then um, I included the number the uh, amount of money that was spent on books and materials um, from 
you know, the last three years. Um, and the reason I put that there is that when we get um, new materials in, they have to be classified and, um, and linked into the database, and that requires um, additional uh, somebody to do it. Um, and for that reason, um, yeah, we have someone come in and, and do that. Um, and if you look at those, between 2015 and 17, there was at least a 7 to 8 percent increase in every category of library services um, that were utilized. So I just added these other things because um, we do count the number of people now that come in. Um, I think that's probably more people that um, you know come in the library than in any other building, in, um, public building in town. We're open six days a week, um, and we have a lot of people come to our story time. Um, so I put this little uh, note about print books. A lot of people think books are dying out. Um, it's all going to be e-books. Well, that's not the case. So. Um, so our, our demand for services and the things that we do go up every year. Um, another but hand? Hmm? Also one of the things about Sarah's salary, when we, when the trustees voted to increase hers from 37 and a half to 40, we were making that in line with other um, department heads that are at 40 hours and, and the library position was not. Um, so we were trying to bring her position into alignment. So a little bookmark for you. Just, um, these are just some of the things I'm thinking of that the library does that people in town depend on. Um, uh, sorry. Yeah. Nothing. Thank you. Um, just in thinking about the library and what it does. Um. John, do you, do you have a question on? Yeah. If I'm if I'm. If I'm wrong, to speak yeah. up. But the way I'm looking at it is the assistant four. Okay. Where you're on the, the, the budget sheet. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm gonna find that. Yeah, that one went, it went up quite a bit. It was that was the one that I think Sarah that we had budgeted last year for 208 hours, mm -hmm. and I think you figured out that it was really 455. Is that? That's the one. Well, um, I, I yeah, just kind of to give you a base base to start. Okay. Um, well, what I did in doing this is I wanted to be sure that I really knew when people were working and um, for how many hours a week they were working. So what I did was I took a 2018 calendar and a 2019 calendar, a fiscal year calendar, right, July through June, and um, took the library hours, took everyone's schedule, and um, and figured out the number of hours, uh, I guess you got the copy of this detailed thing, um, the number of hours each uh, staff member worked times the number of weeks that they worked to, 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 um, to get um, the number of hours. I don't know why, the, um, I, I think maybe the position went up, uh, the assistant four went up by $2,184 was because I put back the three Friday hours from the children's librarian back to an assistant. Oh, to give the children's librarian the chance to do her prep work. Right. Is that what you were? Yes. Okay. Yes. We're so I think what we're really, I think, uh, to, to answer John's question, I think that um, that the the only not the only increase, but the the, the increase that doesn't um, at first glance reflect. Um, a level services is this request to increase the children's library position by three hours. Um, I think that you might be able to, to say that, that, that that's not a level services, but what I'm saying is that um, things are incre every year things increase in the library, the demand for services, the demand for, um, uh, increases the demand for staff, so um, that's why that's the Mm -hmm. Question. You, had, I believe you mentioned, Sarah, that there's a position, at least one, maybe more, that were at like 19 and a half hours. And you're yes, there was three one, hours. Or? No, I'm not adding any position. The 19 week, hours per week is the circulation head that um, stays at nine uh, at 19 hours um, because of the. Um, we, you know, we don't move it above 
It's, no. it's not 19 hours, but you don't move it above a certain thing for 10 p weeks or it's in the personnel bylaw. To keep them, to keep them under the 20 hours right. so, that's, so you don't that's have what to that's So we don't have additional costs on top of no. this as far as no. uh, insurance and health and, and I mean retirement. No. And that's okay. true of a lot of the library right. staff. There's right. very few that are mm -hmm. under pay grades for 18, benefits. 18, 75, yeah. or 19? What is it? 19 hours? I, th I thought it was over oh, 20, right? Over 20. Over 20. Yeah, yeah. 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 20 and 20 over, over, then they get so yeah. If you work 40 hours a week, it's over 20. It's half time. But if you're 37 and a half standard schedule, it's, it's still over 20. Hours. It's 20 and over. I think it's a t actually a 10, it's a 10 we're, week we're, period. Yeah. Yeah. And we're also on a 40 hour week, even though some people work uh, less than that. They'd be working part time. <coughs> I have a question. Um, during your um, op hours open, is there multiple people staffing the library? During, um, there are always two people um, staffing each desk because of the. <coughs> um, well, that's what we try to do. That's what we try to do. But it's impossible for somebody to be really covering downstairs when they're upstairs. No, I understand. So right. two people in the library total. Yes, well, that's what that's. But yes. during the youth programs, you have more than two. Um, yes. You have four, uh, three. No, during the youth today, um, no. there's usually someone at the adult circulation desk yeah. doing that. Ideally, there's someone at the children's circulation desk doing that. When I'm there, there's three people there. Okay. I'm usually in my office. Sometimes, when the children's librarian isn't there, we have a sign that says that you come upstairs. And, um, and <coughs> ideally, you want to have someone in the children's library who understands children, who can work with children, who has a, a long patience. Um, sure. uh, and computer skills. Um, and computer skills. Um, yes, ma'am. The only computers are downstairs. No, there's computers downstairs. I'm still trying to follow the people. Look, to me, this budget for 2019 has two new people. Oh, uh, it doesn't. No. Well, well last year there was last year there was two assistants. Right. So, 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 the so, the so, so last year, when when you were presented the page of the budget, there was a lump sum that included several people. But, but during the year after the budget was approved, Sarah and I went through and actually listed out each individual person. So on the budget you have for this year, you can see an apples to apples. There's an assistant one, two, three, four, and then the aide. Oh, okay. That's Does the, that uh, make sense? Because you have that's the additional hours payroll. Correct. Okay. Yes. And some of people work. Um, there's one. Some people work uh, very uh, few hours a month. Um, so it makes sense to have each one. I mean, there's a lot of people working, but there's only so many hours that they're working. So what was the total hours increase request for this year compared to last year? Well, oh. I don't happen to have that. For, I for sort of everybody. have. I can I, I can tell you like um, okay. So for the year. The request. I guess let's just. Uh, I can go down by the positions. The directors. Mm -hmm. It isn't. I would say it isn't a request because it's already there. But the increase. It goes from 958 hours to 2,080, with the 37 and a half to 40. From 1956. 1956. Right. What did I say? You said 958. But 1958. Hmm. Okay. Um, the 2000 what? Excuse me. 2008. 2008. Okay. Thank you. For the youth services position, it goes from. Um, 1300 or I had at one point I had 1305 somewhere. That's the number. Say, mm -hmm. Okay, 1305 to 1456. Um, and I would say without that, 
it goes to 13, if you say have 1305, it would go to uh, an additional 20 hours, 20, uh, 20 hours, because every year since I've been there for 10 years, we've had to, you know, give her those hours so she can do it. Um, mm -hmm. And the summer program. Right, and so this, uh, this year I said, I, this is crazy, I need to put it in there instead of just giving it to her. So that, and also she's been instructed to, you know, you know, manage her time better so that she's getting that time throughout the year and so she has to juggle her tasks to be able to accomplish when she has the higher workload for the summer programs to accomplish that. Do the assistants help her in any way? Well, the, no. The, um, the, the, the so-called assistants work at the circulation desk. Um, yeah, because they're not, they're not like a floating thing. We need to have those people at the desk to help people. So the circulation had it actually went down two hours, given my um, you know, looking at the calendar very closely. Library aid assistant one uh, went up six hours. Um, assistant two uh, went from 461 to 522 because I, I had um, that, that extra hour she was working that second to fourth Saturday, one extra hour to do the cataloging for the um, extra money spent on books and the, um, the so she's been doing that but you just yes. you just yes, reflected just the it. hours properly yes. okay. so um, that's assistant two assistant three um, that's I don't believe that changed that's the four hours that someone who works upstairs every Saturday afternoon for four hours which we added on in 2017, and that was part of this increased um, thing from the previous year. And then assistant four, which is actually four people, um, uh, the Saturday, they, they work Saturday one to five, four hours times 53 weeks, which maybe last year it might have been 52. Um, they also, one of them also works the, Two of them also were the first, third, and fifth Saturday for three hours, and um, so that that is 455 hours, and it might have, and I don't know what it was last year, but if you... 456 is the number that we had. Well, that, no. Okay. So it's the same, essentially. No. Okay. Okay, so then the student assistant, 208 hours is the same. Yeah, it seemed like there was an additional 208 hours that, that everybody's got down there. Um, that's not what Bruce thought when he spoke <coughs> to his last meeting, but... Um, he said 571. 571. But that's... Uh, we don't have a calculation in front of us, so it's hard to tell in this thing. So most of that is with the, with the youth um, program head and, and with Sarah's, Sarah's additional hours. Possibly, yeah. Total hours worked at the library. All staff. We have that number. I thought I found it. Uh, I don't think I did. Oh, sorry. No. Yeah. You want it currently, no, or? No, no, we can we can get that. It's okay. okay. <clears throat> uh, no. Can I ask a question? Sure. What is the requirement for increasing the amount of money spent on books in relationship to the labor or what, what's the relationship there? Well, if with you the buy... Hmm? With the state? Yeah. Well, if you buy more, you mean if you have more books, how does the work increase? No. No, it's no. wondering about your book. Yeah. What justifies an increase from 32 or 36,000? Why did um, you? Um, well, some of it... Um, First of all, we have to spend 19% of our um, municipal appropriation on books and materials. We don't, um, we haven't used municipal money for that entire, entirely for that um, for a long time. We get, um, uh, well, if you look at the bottom of the sheet here, we um, last year uh, the Tilton Fund paid for 
well, I guess it's this year. All right, in 2017, um, Tilton Fund was budgeted for $15,000, um, pay, pay $15,000. Some of it was for books, uh, maybe around $12,000. Um, did I answer your question, John? I seem to have. Uh, well, yeah, that trying to find out what the formula is. It's 19% of the municipal appropriation. So, so the budget total is total. 19% has to be spent on the books. That's minimum. correct. In order to get, right, minutes. And we often will spend more than 19% if we get, um, if someone gives us a gift, say, and say, it says spend it on books. So if I look at the bottom here, mm -hmm. I'm going to round that figure to $200,000 right. just for discussion right. purposes. So, so it's 19% of that number. That's right. right. Yeah, you have to take the 36,000 so out to get your, you know, and then apply your 19% to that, right? Say that again? Take the 36,000. Just subtract the 36,000. Yeah, well, right, and I can't do there. that. So right. I just say 196, 90% uh, okay. is 196.689. It comes to around 36,000. If it goes mm -hmm. more or less, it just it, you, you get crazy trying to okay. figure that out. That's but, fine. That's, but it's that just that's a point. ballpark figure. Um, and then these yeah. these these Look. items in parentheses, we hope you know are trying we're chipping away at that books. So so these are our funds that you could that, that the library has access to that you could use to say that you're covering the thirty six thousand. No. Um, no, well, do, uh, does it, no. Uh, or at least it part. Those aren't municipal. Okay. Well, um, I would think so they are. So, some of them, um, okay, so uh, some of this money, for instance, uh, from, for the, uh, like say, look at the Friends of Tilton Library. There's this uh, 3,500 down from mm -hmm. 5,000. Um, that, uh, those go for programs mostly mm -hmm. um, and uh, that figure is not derived from what they're going to make in 2019 it's derived from what they made in um, their fiscal year is um, a calendar year it's what they made in 2017 so we don't we only budget for we only put it in the budget if we know that we have it so someday I mean we might come in here and say you know we're not getting this gift from a certain uh, place um, for books and materials, and we. Friends of the library is that less money that you're having to drive for the capital? Less? No, no. The re um, no, they didn't hold a fundraiser that um, that they usually hold. It's the um, the art auction. That it's a year without that. Um, um, that's coming back next year, but they weren't out of the break. Uh, what is the trustees' comp balance? What the trustees want to do is give me a moment. I'll do that up first. Thanks. Do you want to talk about your idea? That's my idea. Oh, <laughs> we have a lot of ideas. Um, <laughs> one of the, uh, the ones uh, we I can mention earlier. this idea um, uh, as a way of uh, um, one of the. It's possible that um, if. Uh, some of the building, um, this is an idea I had, sometimes some libraries, um, the town will pay for some of their building maintenance costs in order to increase, decrease their um, total municipal appropriation in order to um, decrease the amount of money that is required to be spent on books. Now that sounds kind of anti, like you shouldn't, a librarian shouldn't be saying that. But um, it does go up, like every time, you know, this is making, this is going up, and every time the budget increases, the um, books and materials goes up. In order to get the state aid, we still have to have, a, um, uh, the municipal appropriation still has to increase by 2.5%, but obviously this is increasing by 15%. Um, so we could um, put some of our building, um, maintenance costs to another department um, it would still come the town would still be paying for it but um, be a wash there so you move it to town building maintenance um, out of her budget right and, um, uh, so we'd save about two we, we, the a book requirement would go down if we did that um, to 34,736, so there would be $2,252 that 
um, wouldn't go in the books line. It doesn't, you know, it, it still, the town would still pay it, but that would be $2,000 that we would it's not, it would not be part of your budget. Just reduce the state right. requirement. So, so it would, overall, yeah. so reduce some examples of the things that you would need. Well, um, we, well, I guess without, I wouldn't want to do this without um, meeting with the, um, with the trustees to be sure that they approve it. I wouldn't want to do it without talking to other libraries, other towns, other library directors to see what they do and just to think about it a little bit because we just sort of, like I mentioned it to Brenda the other day, um, and then Brenda kind of um, asked around and, and did a little research, and um, and we, I, I wouldn't want to um, do it right away. I would want to think about it, but it would be a way of saving about two thousand dollars on the on, the, on your total budget. My concern is uh, when the new library is built, um, it's going to be a significant increase in maintenance costs. Mm -hmm. It might be hard. To <coughs> back out of maintenance and put it back in the library if that was the case. Yeah, it would, and that's why. So I'm not sure we want to do it right, right. I think it's a good it's thought. Not, it's not something but, I would want to do without I, I really, really talking to the yeah. people, you know, the advisors, library advisors, the state, and just to see what their experience has been. But I think that's a good point. Yeah. And, and who maintains the library? Do you have a subcontract agreement? Um, we have someone who comes in and um, uh, empties the trash. trash. The vacuums. same one that does the town offices. Um, I've been to the high school. It looks very nice. <laughs> Me too. Except for the dust on the heaters. <laughs> I have our answer to the accounts question too, and we're ready for it. <laughs> uh, sure. Go ahead. Uh, so the total and. I just want one distinction. This includes our capital campaign too. Okay. Um, this two hundred twenty-four thousand six hundred fourteen dollars and thirty-eight cents. And you can't tell us right now how much of that's capital. Um, well, that includes our uh, the Tilton Fund's primary checking account, three certificate accounts, and our capital campaign account. So I'm sorry to hear that. And our capital campaign account. So that's our uh, our capital campaign fundraising account for that. So the, then you're saying there's nothing for operating? No, that's our. Those are the total. That's the total. I understood the question as the total dollar amount of all total funds. Right. Uh, yeah, that's it. Right. Yeah, that's our. But I think we, what we're after is how much is available to help with the operations. Uh, right here in this. Uh, Nine five hundred. Nine five hundred. Nine thousand five hundred. Well, that's right that, that's what you're going to. That's reducing the budget. But is there any more? The Tilton fund. Right, but is there any more in the Tilton Fund that we could put in there? Right. The reason for yeah. that is? Um, I think the reason for that is that um, uh, <coughs> that this is this is money that was raised by Tilton Fund or given to Tilton Fund for the use of, of the, the use of the library, and um, they may be designated gifts. Mm -hmm. Um, I guess you'd have to ask the trustees. I mean, it's, it certainly can't go for um, salaries and no. salaries. Um, uh, I think that I think. Um, but the trustees could pay for maintenance. Um, I think that's a mistake. The, that, that that means that the trustees are fundraising to pay for maintenance. Okay, is that what you want to do in your town? Budget. It's an option. Take it out of the municipal budget. Just a thought. I say we're even suggesting it. Well, I, I guess I would, I would think of something that a former um, town administrator said to me about using um, fun, uh, funds that are raised by um, fundraising, depending on them. He said he had some uh, some quote about it, and I. It stuck with me. It didn't. I don't remember what he said, but I don't think, I don't think you can depend on fundraising to. You can't depend on it. You might not get it the next and year. Typically, the, there's only two events that they really do for fundraising each year. And one is the plane sale, and then they do a wine and cheese event that they share with their friends. And so, you know, the plant sale used to be a very different kind of event where they might raise five thousand dollars. In the last year. 
I think we raised a little over a thousand, just under a thousand. So it's you know. Then there's personal donations. Yes. Which and and there's, a, there's an annual yes. appeal that, yep. that we that we do. Mm -hmm. There is, and actually the bookmarks that you got, that if you do make a donation, you get this bookmark. <laughs> <laughs> You're special. <laughs> so when Bruce was talking, it did, it did make me think of um, uh, something, and then it just went around okay. my mind again. But, um, <laughs> Could you explain the Texas and Trust? You got minus $892 in there? No, that's not. The, the reason it's there is that, that offsets the um, the uh, the expenses up above it. So the negative number, like the top numbers, are the are, are what it costs to run the library, and then those negative numbers are offsetting it and taking it away from what we're asking the town for. Is that what was in the balance of the fund that you got from the town? Yeah, I think um, Barb it's, actually... It's 960 now, so it's yeah. more, 68 more dollars than it was. I didn't yeah. know what it was when I made this budget. I found out today that right. it's 960. Well, I found out today it's something else, but traditionally <coughs> we get 85% um, of that, so 960. Yeah, 15% goes to Frontier. I think it's Frontier. Yes. Yeah. And 85% goes to the tickets to the library. Where do you have the sewer budget in, in here? It's under water. And I used to call it water and sewer. Mm -hmm. Water SD, WSD. Mm -hmm. South here. Yes. Have you received the bill yet? Yes. So it's close. Both. I don't know. Yeah, I, I did. We did receive a bill. Mm -hmm. and we paid it. Mm -hmm. I don't remember what it was. But I don't either. But it seemed like that seemed like a good amount. I think it might have been less than that. Well, the, the combination of the two, you get three bills with the water department and two bills with the sewer department. Yeah. Two. You get two of each. Well, we get the tax bill. But the library, because the, the library, library doesn't, doesn't get, get that. that. Right. Two of each. Yeah. So two of each. Yeah. So you get four total bills. The question is, is it too hard? But if you don't have, know what you paid last year. Yeah, I don't remember the water bills being anything more than the minimum. I think no, $25. Our piece. water bills are always $50. Yeah, total right 50 yeah. Oh, OK. And so then the remainder oh, yeah, of that so would then be you put the, in the rest the of the sewer. Just the sewer. Right. The sewer just went out. Right. Sewer just went out. $50 for sewer. Yeah. Oh, good. What's that? Brenda's keeping track of I it. am? Oh, OK. Oh. She told me. <laughs> she, she told me. <laughs> Um. <laughs> yeah, I can't remember what we paid. We could look at that soon. But. Oh, you mean this year? Yeah, what we paid for the first bill this year. Yeah, it's going up next It's year. going up, be okay. About $2 a thousand. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. But then the minimum, the, dollar, the, dollar, the, dollar, the, there's some right, other things. Dollar, I think it, right. Something else went down. I remember correctly, I guess. it went up a dollar. Kind of talking small potatoes. Yeah, we are. Mm -hmm. right. yeah. Um, I guess I just want to go back to what I remembered what I thought of when Bruce was talking about the maintenance and um, Tilton Fund paying for it. Um, I just want, I mean, Tilton Fund has actually paid for quite a lot of the maintenance on that building. They paid for the um, extra amount of money that the capital uh, the CPA um, project. We got put in for a bid, and um, it came in. And it up. By the time we got somebody to do it, it was much larger, so the um, Tilton Fund picked that up. Tilton Fund picked up um, uh, a lot of, uh, they picked up the, um, when we went to do the design de um, the study uh, to find out, like, to look at um, the new library space, um, and most towns um, pay for that uh, matching, not matching, it's, Supplemental funds, Tilton Fund did that. Um, help me out with this grant. Um, uh, the, the, the Tilton Fund has, you know, I can remember sitting there at, a, at many a meeting saying, you know, we can't do this unless we have some more money. How about it? And the Til Tilton Fund has always stepped up to that, it's always paid for um, things that um, can't be covered or, um, by the town about the building. Um, so they've really um, risen to the occasion taking care of it and, and spending their money. They're not All cheap. All the 100th anniversary activities that we did. Just for my reference, um, maybe other people on the, on the committee, um, how are you going? 
Uh, and who approves increase in salary uh, or hours? The trustees. Trustees? Yes. Yes. Vote on the salary increase and hours increase. Yes. They, they um, make the policy and the decisions. I run the library. So okay. I, I so the town books. then, after you vote, after the trustees have voted, it, well, you can say no. Up. No, right. I'm saying. I mean, oftentimes when you say when we increase the hours to begin the children's program mm -hmm. for infants, you know, we set aside some money or we got a grant to test that out to see the viability of that um, so that we really felt justified before we would add that into a budget. Um, and the same when we added, um, you know, to make uh, Fridays a full day, uh, Fridays a half day, and when we added the additional hours on Saturday, it was open till noon for the full day. Um, so we can, you know, really feel the justification for that, and that was part of the reasons that we did the new counting mechanism to see numbers of people coming into the library, so we can really track track to see you know, how usage has changed, um, which is very significant. Well, and part of the reason the Nancy and I are here is so that whatever the decision of the finance committee is, you know, we'll be better able to explain to the rest of the trustees. Understood. Yeah. I mean, I just sitting here as you go through it, and yet this is only one of the budgets you're looking at, um, gives me pause to appreciate the scope of the task in front of you. Because we have one budget. Yeah, to consider. we have a $14 million <laughs> dollar town budget. Absolutely, yeah. You're just a little, a little bit. <laughs> oh, understood. Any, any other questions on this budget? Is there anything that you can do to reduce the budget? Do you want to do that right now? Recognizing that we've got a 2.5% limit on our budget increase, and you want to vote. 15.72 percent. But she had offered, she'd offered one, one idea. Yeah. Right. But, yeah, that's, just, but that's, that's just going to move, move dollars right. from one budget to another. It, it is, but well, that's not helping the reduce, that, that. It's also going to reduce the amount uh, that you have to have to set aside for books. Right. True. So overall, it's going to reduce it a little bit. Not True. huge, but. True. Right. Certainly the trustees are more than willing to come back and discuss, well, you know, how I'd we like would, to see it go. The problem that we have is that the schools typically get not two and a half percent, but three, three and a half percent. And anything over four or five percent, we're in trouble. This budget's in trouble. I don't know how else to put it other than we're not, we haven't found any trees that print the money so that they look good yet. And I'm asking for you to help us to lower our response to lower our responsibility to the town. We, we have to turn around and try and get our budgets under control. And this one's not helping us. It simply is not helping us. Now, I don't know if anybody else wants to say it, but that's my personal feeling. I, I, I have to agree with John at, at this moment, especially when you know uh, a request went out for level services and that. And it just not reflected here in a in a almost a 16 percent increase, and I understand the pressures that everybody's under. But if if all the departments came in with a 16 percent increase, this town would be in serious trouble. So, and every department would say that they could justify the increase. Right. Mm -hmm. So we're not we're not doubting that. The, We're not down here sincerely. We know your heart's in the right place. Provided. We know that you want to move up the budget a little bit. That we can appreciate. But you know, this is not a piecemeal thing where you get paid by a piece. So if you do a thousand more this year than last year, you're going to get a two percent increase for that. We just don't do that. Or if we approve this one. Which I'm, I'm just going to use the highway department as an example. How is he going to feel? There's a couple of chairs up. How is the highway department going to feel? Say, gee, why are they they go? Go? Is there a cent? Why couldn't I go up 15%? Well, I guess the way you can look at it. You can say it's 15%, but then you can look at the overall big pie thing, and the school is getting this much. You know, the, I don't know what the highway department is, but the library is getting about this much. Um, you know, you can, you can use the term, you know, it depends on your, your language. You know, 15%. Well, what I'm trying to express is how the other department has a good feel. 
Right. If they see us approve this. I guess I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> Um, just, just speaking frankly, I guess. Um, I, I appreciate. It. I, I feel like um, many members of the committee are trying to help us feel that we're not being singled out. This isn't is about being in the library. It's just about how, how it plugs into the overall budget. So I, I hear that, um, and so I, I think that our message is that you need us to look at the budget and see what we can do to trim it. And Sarah's message is that. She really feels that it's justified. Your point's well taken. That other department heads might feel the same. One of the things that I asked Brenda to request from you, and I understand that time is is, is a problem. So the construction of the the addition, new library, whatever you want to call it. One of the things that I would like to have, in, in particularly when I'm considering this is an understanding of staffing costs and operating expenses that will be involved with that new facility. What would your budget look like? And I realize that you, 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 know, you can't come up with something to, to the penny, but. Right, and I can't, I don't even know if I can come up with something that's at all. Well, but what we do is you try. Um, when we applied for the um, uh, grant, we didn't uh, have any idea what our uh, expenses, operating expenses, would be an estimate. Um, we have an idea now. Um, one of the things I did that, that that is commonly said is that when you build a new library, more people come. Um, it's you're busier than ever. So. Um, but we had no way of really knowing what, what would happen and, um, and how we would approach it. Um, but um, I did get a figure from the designer, who's the architect, who is closely related to the um, people who make the estimates for what is, you know, he knows what kind of heating system, lighting, power. Mm -hmm. um, and I asked, and I was able to receive um, an estimate for the yearly cost of light, heat, power, and maintenance of that, of that equipment in the building as it was designed um, for the um, uh, initially, and, um, and that was the energy costs would be twenty-two thousand three hundred and seventy-two. Here, I'll actually all of my. I'll take these. Um, okay, I'm going to give them to Brian. Actually. Oh well, it's only you one get, sheet. Okay. Uh, um, so Brenda will get stuff. Oh, okay. So um, I I. Figured out the maintenance costs. I took what we pay our main. Oh, I took. I asked other libraries who were about the same square footage mm -hmm. what um, what they um, their their maintenance costs were. Not maintenance, but cleaning, janitorial uh, mm -hmm. costs were. Um, and I estimated it was 19 hours a week times whatever uh, some kind of figure that I felt was right. Right, um, and came up with a cost of twelve thousand eight hundred forty-four dollars to um, keep the new library clean and uh, in, not necessarily good repair, but mm -hmm. but clean, and that's an, an increase from of nine thousand dollars from now, which we pay about. 50, um, well, it's in here uh, what we pay per week, um, and the other thing um, that I said was I felt like um, just from here that the children's library position. Uh, Children's youth position should go to a full time, so that because there will be, um, you know, build a little library, people want to come, and it's possible that hours could increase. So those were just the three things. There was, um, I, I still feel confident that um, there'll be new services to teenagers, but I, th I, I'm, there's still grants available. There's ways of sharing positions within towns. It's not a, a position that's a full-time thing. It, it's mostly for programming, and um, and the, those that position could be shared with another town and could be paid for by grants. Also, I went to a conference at Hopkinton, which is a new library that just opened in October. And them, like many other libraries, have not really done a lot with their staffing till they're into the building and they really see, you know, what their specific needs are, which is typically been that's what happened in West Springfield. Um, so that seems to be sort of a model that we've seen. Um, Granted, a new building doesn't require as much maintenance, but you know. Not as much maintenance. When I say maintenance, I mean cleaning. No, I'm talking about maintenance. 
keeping things up. Well, you hope that's, well, that's what I'm saying. It, we've got $6,000 for the regular maintenance, which isn't really a lot of money. And then when you get the new building, if things start, I mean, the reason the school goes downhill is because nobody maintains it, okay? So when a new building needs to be maintained, whether it's just for paint now and then or, you know. Money should be put away every, every year for maintenance. Year for maintenance. Whether, right. you, whether it's a new building or not, right. is we run in the same situation with all our other buildings. Yeah. We don't put the money away, and all of a sudden 20 years or 15 years or even 10 years, you end up with this huge bill because nobody planned. Yeah. And and that just can't should not happen. Let's put it that way. But it does. <laughs> it does, right? Unfortunately, we really need to. We're going to have a new building. We need to maintain it. Mm -hmm. I, I guess I would say that I would not put have put that maintenance. Um, I think that maintenance was there in the form, and so I would not have put that twelve thousand eight hundred forty-four dollars there. I would have put it in other, which it would be janitorial. The maintenance, I don't know what it would cost to say paint it or... Right, I'm just saying that replace any new building that we do, we need to make sure we figure in maintenance, because that's what's killing us in the schools. They're not being maintained. So even though they have maintenance people there, they're not maintaining them. They're not fixing things when they leak. They're not, you know, and even in a new building, you can have a leak. Yes, you, you can. can. Have, right, yeah. Buckets cheaper than fixing <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, right. I guess I would say, in defense of the library and the, uh, in the in defense of the town, the town has taken care of this the hundred year old building that we have. We have a, a new roof. We have we fixed um, a roof, uh, some kind of ice dams. We have coils on the roof. Um, the outside has been painted. Um, the inside, the trustees painted the inside, um, and the, the you know so it. it this building has been, we have a new furnace. Um, anyway. It compares favorably to the 100 year old school building I work in in West Virginia. Literally. Yeah. Well, we just know that we, for Frontier, we're going to be getting some pretty hefty mm -hmm. builds because they haven't been maintaining it. Mm -hmm. And um, same with the grammar school. Things need to be done when they happen, not after they're to the point where you can't use them anymore. Yeah. You know, Sounds like a trivial thing, but it's starting to add up to millions. <laughs> right. so. I don't think anybody would disagree with you. It's mm -hmm. happening a lot of times. Yeah, it is all over. Any further questions? I've got. I, I would like to have more information. You know, to have a longer discussion on on uh, the budget before we vote on it. I, Quite honestly, if it had to be an up or down vote, I think my vote would be at this time no. So I just soon postpone the vote on this and then get together and talk about this again and probably ask you to come back and uh, maybe we have, have a trustee some more meeting questions. next Wednesday so we can review the budget and yeah. talk about and it. And I really would like to have uh, to the extent that you can, more concrete information on what it's going to cost to operate and maintain uh, the facility once it's once the addition is. So that depends. Uh, <laughs> having that information depends on. <laughs> no, it doesn't. No, I, I'm talking. It's both. I mean, this is separate from that. Yeah, yes. But it's it, you know, just like to see what it is. I, I, I guess mean, I work. I don't know how to do that, and I don't think uh, that it's possible. And I guess it would be too, well. We talk with Kevin, uh, and I, I can remember when we we had a budget that we put together for the elementary school when we constructed that 25 years ago. Right, but we're not in the the design for the um, building has not been done yet. So if the design, I mean, we can we can once we have the the, uh, the design develop we develop the, the next final stage design. Of the we can. You, I, I from what I understand, you have a, you have a schematic schematic of yes. what the building is likely to look like as far as size. Yes. And so from that building, from that, um, that we have that estimate that I gave you, I think mm -hmm. it was $25,000. Mm -hmm. um, but the next part of the process, once we get our award, is a year's worth of work of finalizing the building and mm -hmm. then we would be able to make those projections. My issue with the future costs of the new building are personnel. You're going to almost quadruple the size of your library 
Well, we're going to quadruple it, but some of that is, is called non allow non, non, there's a, a word for it. Some of it is ducts and duct work and not um, usable space. So we're not really quadrupling the, the usable space. Well, most okay. of it, I hope, is usable. If well, we're going it's usable from, for we're heating going and for. 3,000 square oh. feet to 12,000. All right, maybe you're right. Maybe I'm wrong. Or I'm wrong. wrong. Um, I'm thinking of something else. There, is, there are parts of the building that you can't go into of because course, yeah. of that. Of course, you know, but it can't be that much. You're right. It's not floor space. space. You're right. It's so you can have all that more floor space. Mm -hmm. and so you're Aren't you going to need new, new people, more people, more hours? Well, I did say that I thought that the children's library in position should go to 40 hours. Okay. okay. I did say that a youth library position, right now with the staff that we have, I, I would say the youth library position should go to 40 hours because there'll be demand for 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 that. Okay. But I'm not. But you still will have a person at the circ desk upstairs and a person at the circ desk downstairs, which is what we have now, and which which is what we'll um, what we'll continue to need in the new building. We won't need any more than that for okay. So safety you're not going to need a whole lot, and you're not going to need new people. We're going to need a. I would think that we would need a, a teenage a person who will work with teens about 10 hours a week. Um, and that, I said, initially, mm -hmm. would be something that we would get. I still feel we would get be able to get that for a grant. So I, I feel like I've been, at this point, as as um, transparent as you can be. Yes. No, I, I did as transparent as we can be. Oh, I don't think no, no, right. I, I don't no, think no, that's I've done, I, I'm just trying to get my head what, what's going to happen. Well, what you, what you I'm think trying is to. <laughs> okay. It's a cumbersome process, <laughs> um, and where we are in the process, you know, being on the wait list doesn't make it easy for, mm -hmm. you know, calculating the next steps and how we proceed in many different arenas. I don't know, it would be nice to take what this would look like with the new building, what you think, and I know it's not exact. Well, mm -hmm. I, of course it's not, but what do you think is going to happen? What's it going to look like? Yeah, you can. You can. Go ahead. Hmm? Bruce. I just want, I'm wondering if the point that the Sutton are discussing the compensation schedule tonight, yeah. Yeah. whether there's going to be a 2% COLA and a step increase or something else. So that might affect your budget. Are they going to vote? No, I already tonight? did it with according to what I don't yes. know. might. Right. Well, it also sure affected my was in there. It may change. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. And I had no I idea longevity pay was something that was every year. I thought it was just a little... Yeah, we asked the question time. how it became a percentage on your longevity pay. Because that's a percentage they Because work. those people percentage only work. work. Right. right. That third person... So somebody a part-time people who yes. do longevity pay. Yeah, they do. Yes. Yes. That's pro rating. 20 to 25 years. Okay. Mm -hmm. I thought that longevity didn't pay until after you got had 10 years at least. Well, they Correct. have. They've been 20 years. They're all 10 years. Everybody's over 10 years. They're closer to 20. Right. They're mostly they 20. They are yeah. mostly 20 years. That's what we look for. We don't look to get rid of people. We people. <laughs> right. It's well, we're not getting rid of the people we have. <laughs> no, I didn't mean it that way. Don't catch on TV. It's hard. Uh, yeah, so we love a vote. No. So it's okay. <laughs> we're not ready to leave. We like it there. And that's the beauty of it, that there are people that have been working there for a long time. and um, People know that the patrons very well. Right. So, so let me rephrase it. Do you want to take a vote tonight on no. this budget, or no. do you want to postpone it? For? I think we should postpone okay. the budget until I think it would be wise to postpone Salary, compensation, because mm -hmm. we've approved two budgets subject to the supplements that say review. Right. Review, so. So we should leave the call in that we did? Oh, yeah. The, no, the, no, the, no, right now. No, no, yes. We won't change yes. anything at the moment. Okay. We won't change we, anything until a decision yeah. is made, hopefully. And we, <laughs> when we discuss it, you will know about it beforehand. So we're not going to discuss it. Okay. We're close, <coughs> behind closed doors or anything. So. As far as their budget means. Yes. Yeah. 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 So thank you thank for coming, and thank you. Thank we look for forward to having, having you come back. Listening. <laughs> thank you. Very sense of humor. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs>
Thanks for the bookmark. Yeah. Well, you're welcome. Some of us have received the better, the other one. If you need, if you need another one, you can use the yards machine. <laughs> so hit me in the eye when I'm reading night in bed, boy. <laughs> The new one was dirty. Well, I hope you're nice. Not too much of it. Thank you, dear. Thank you for coming. Thanks. Thanks for your time. B, not B. Oh, B? Great. Thank you. Okay. John, thank you for coming. Do you feel like you're a real bumper? Oh. My goodness. <laughs> that table, right? That just means, right? That just means you get here. to get grilled more. <laughs> I was fine where I was. Well, I wish I had some stickers. Anybody get some stickers? Oh, I didn't bring any. You want me to go get some? I really appreciate it. Yeah. You want small ones or big ones? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> we small. need a little sticky. Wow. A little sticky. Yeah. I'll, I'll take this one. I'll stick Stick on the paper so I can make notes. Actually, I need some for my office, though. Oh, let's see. Mm -hmm. How are you doing tonight, John? Good, how are you? Good, thank you. Hello? I got waylaid. So I went out there. Do you want to just give them the email? You can in the back door. Okay. Well, I should have, huh? <laughs> You'll be here? Yeah, I hope so. <laughs> okay. Uh, We've got uh, four budgets. Assessor salary is the first one. Well, What's the number? Uh, it's uh, 141. Yes. Okay, you guys have, 100. Do you guys have this thing? No. Yep. Someplace? I don't. Yes, I it came in an email. It came in an email. email. I didn't get it. <laughs> well, it, Do you want me I to thought, go make some copies? Yeah, yeah, if you would. Do you want I to take? Wrote. I wrote on mine. Uh, you can take this one. This blank. Okay. 141, 5400. 141, 5100. 5100. Yeah. Assessor Got it. It's a higher increase in the library. Pages are It's half, half what the selectmen get, or approximately. I understand. <laughs> We we started this a couple of years ago. We just decided that we would try to do it gradually. That's all we're asking. You know, it was a big deal. Whatever happens, happens. This one I approve. <laughs> my my one vote. We're talking about eighteen percent of ninety five hundred dollars. Oh, I understand that. You're talking $1,500. Thank you. Okay, who needed copies? And I, I my guess is we're talking $1,500 every year for the next. Thank you. Well, well until we get up to that. Where, where are the selectmen? 6000 bucks. Four or more. Five well, six. We'd like six, to. Six plus. Six plus? I think six. 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 If they don't raise their budgets, <coughs> and of course they did it in the dark of night too, when we weren't looking. About the, uh, six, five, five. six five five. Oh, six wow. five five. Okay. Wow. <laughs> okay. Stand well, well enough, you, John. <laughs> you, you were there. It was town meeting that it happened at. Yeah. Wow. I guess so, why is it going to fifteen hundred bucks? <laughs> <laughs> Three select, three assessors, 500 a piece. That's all. I think that's very reasonable because we've always tried to keep the assessors the same as the selectmen. So well, yeah. I guess my quite the question I noted was so they, the 1500 this year, a way of making up no raises in earlier years. Definitely. Uh, yeah. Well, yes and no. Uh, they have, they've been at the 2500 for the chairman. has been there as long as I can remember. Oh yeah. There's been, there's been, well, what did you do when you served as both an assessor and a selectman the same year? Did you fight on both, you stand on both sides arguing that? <laughs> Argued with himself. <laughs> Couldn't get to sleep at night. And then he lost the argument. I sure wasn't getting, I sure wasn't getting what they're getting now. <laughs> it, it has been, for whatever reason, I don't know if this is the only town, but it's always been 
I don't know, it's, it's happened so long ago and happened so often that it's almost funny. The selectmen and assessors were always arguing about uh, salaries and, and someplace along the way, I'm not sure where the decision was made, but the decision was made and we'd end up paying the assessors and selectmen the same amounts. I think that, is that essentially I, the... I think that's what we, we agreed upon. Um, 30 years ago, 40 years you know, ago? So, yeah. Back when I had a horse cavalry. Yeah. yeah. You know, we have, we have as much work to do as they do. Oh, so I agree. I agree. Mm -hmm. It's different, but it's still there. I'll take your word for it. You did both jobs. So you, I did. You, you're in a position to compare the two, which no one else here is. Okay, any questions on this? Uh, if not, can I have a vote one way or the other? Make a motion to approve it. I'll second it. It's moved, seconded. Any further discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Is that one, two, three, six, zero? Yep. Zero. budget to the administrative assistant. Yeah, we just put something in for that because you know, I don't know what the personnel and that's, a, that's on the this is this is the two percent cola and the step. Which is what the selectman said to do for the purposes of budgeting. Correct. Okay. And and then the, the only other difference here is she's got the longevity. Mm -hmm. I think we need to hold it until we see what happens with the salary schedule, right? We approved two subject to it's, board of selectmen. Yeah. So that's what was done last time. And week. what we said last time was that if there's if there's a change, Brenda will redo the budget so that we can vote them. We can either we can either revote the whole batch of them when it becomes necessary. I think that just needs to be clear. Yeah. I would agree. As far as as far as voting any, and it's not just the assessors. Yeah. All the all budgets. All the budgets. Right. Yeah. All yes. the budgets, and we have to make sure that that's stated, and everybody understands that that it will be under review depending on the mm -hmm. salary schedule, as far as the compensation. Is that satisfactory? Like Thirty five hundred dollar increase. What's that? Thirty five hundred dollar increase on fifty three thousand. So it's about seven. Well, don't forget four hundred. Six, six, it's six point six seven. I'm looking at the uh, top line with two thousand eighteen fifty three thousand seventy seven dollars and two thousand nineteen fifty six six one six. That's about thirty five hundred dollar increase without the four hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. Thirty five hundred. That's almost four thousand out of. With six point six seven percent right. increase. And we can't afford that, you know. And I, I hope the select can get that message. Yeah, but it goes back to the salary schedule. It does. It, it does. Based, yeah. This yeah. is based yeah. on the salary yeah. schedule. The salary yeah. schedule they promised last year that they were going to redo this year, and yeah. I don't see where they've done it. They've just taken the old one with the five percent increase and added it in. That's not right. What they did was they took the cost of living and added it to the schedule. Cool. To keep it up First to date. Now. They took the, yeah, the problem is that you can't leave a five percent increase every year. Well, that's why we. It's the same old argument, John. We've been old arguing old argument forever. For I, I thought, and correct me if I'm wrong, but the understanding of it was last year that last year was a catch-up year for everybody. That's right. That that's that's a one year. That was a one year, supposedly a one year deal, and then it'd be under review. So everybody, I'm assuming, is already caught up. Everyone's now, caught up, right. except the cost of living went up two percent. Yeah, except yeah, but now we're doing salaries. Now we're doing a yeah, we salary we're doing, uh, well, salaries, a step raise plus the cost of the living. Well, it's even Social Security be the cost doesn't of get doesn't get a step raise and a cost of living just because you're a year older doesn't mean you get a, a two thousand dollar increase right. in pay you and then two percent on top of that. I don't you get didn't it. get that? Our no. schedule John, you missed was two percent for the total schedule. 
because what happened back in 2009, a schedule was created right. that never included the cost of living right. all these years. So everyone was at the wrong area. Yeah, but when like John hiring, says now, we're going to be in a situation with the, here. with the proposed salary schedule or compensation package that is going to be basically roughly about a 5% increase annually. We and can we really sustain that as a town? We recommended initially that we only go by the 2% on the schedule with no steps. Mm -hmm. That was has been received, fair. but that has been received very, very poorly. We were told because last we week. have not had time to work on um, doing a merit review, which would bring right. some people up and not right. others. The, the right. problem is because it's such an open. Everybody knows what everybody else is making. That if you mm. give somebody a raise, and then you know, then you get more morale problems than what you right. have now. But I, I guess I don't understand it because last year we approved, and the voters of the town approved the salary schedule that caught everybody up to basically it what caught the levels up. Right. What it did. But compensation. So in other words, we don't have to hire somebody at step four because they not eight. or step seven right. or eight. Right. That we did. We hired everybody. Mm -hmm. We hired prior to that schedule right. was hired at at least four steps ahead of where they should have been. Except me. Right. Yeah, I was you. hired at step one. Right. You no. And I am hired at step less. one right. because that's what the prior the prior um, accountant was making. That's why you were hired at that step. No, she was and I've, I've still said making, before, she was still making quite a bit more than that. But that's all right. Yeah. I've said before that I'm not opposed to raises at all. That's not that's not the case here. But if we if we voted last year to catch people up, and now I guess what it comes down to is are we comparing apples to apples and oranges to oranges here? We can pull out like you've done skip in the past here with the teacher salary and the police salary. But what about other towns, roughly our size, as far as highway departments, the town staff, and that? Are we equitable to those other towns? Well, we weren't. We weren't, but are we not? We are now. Right, because yes. we did. Now, we tell did me what other towns are going to be paying their employees 5% increases on an annual basis from this point well, forward. They're going to say and I don't think, I don't think that's going to happen. Because of the raise. No, you're talking yeah. 5% in the schedule plus a 2% cost of living. He's talking a seven percent increase. Yeah. But just I, you know, I just don't think other towns are going to do that. Or so I, I think. But they're all going to say they're giving two percent. But if you look at them, most of them have steps. So they're going their step plus their two percent. Until they reach the top step. Until they reach the top step, and then all you get is your two percent. Because I would have to, I would really have to see to other town salary schedules as far as, as far as, because I, I really find it hard to believe that other towns are giving the equivalent of, and I don't care if it's a step in a cola or whatever. I just don't believe other towns are but giving five to seven right. percent. It doesn't mean it's not right to do it the way we're talking about. I'm not, oh, I'm not saying right or wrong. I'm saying well, what I'm can saying we afford? Comparing the school and look at the increases they're getting. You're looking at the police you department can't. and see the increases they're getting. You see all of this, Jeff. But but you cannot you compare. You cannot compare. Different. You cannot compare these departments with the school. Why not? Schools are compared to schools. That's how they get their raises. Wait a minute. Wait. We can no. certainly compare no. the no. salary the percentage okay. of increases in the concept. Can we uh, move to continue with it? Yeah, I think the budget. Right. Right. I mean, I think this conversation. Is, yeah, I think same it's, as we broad, last, it's broader than just broader than what we're discussing now. Yeah. Until we have the same conversation every week. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I thought it's not getting anywhere. Well, we were going to discuss it. What, whatever the selectmen decide, determine. Uh, they're the ones that have to put the, you know, the personnel board mm -hmm. makes the recommendation to the selectmen and the selectmen. Which they've already done. Yes. And the selectmen does whatever they do, and they will put Except the article on town meeting floor. And the recommendation from the personnel committee was two percent and a step, and not a step. Yes, and a step. And a step. You recommended a five percent plus a two percent. We recommended the two percent to bring the schedule up to date. Okay. That was our original 
And how about and the, no merit increase? No. Because there is no longevity merit. pay. Right. You no, no, you are, and longevity, yes. So what you're doing, you're saying you get a step increase automatically, plus two percent. Well, our thought process said you put two percent into the schedule and leave it at the level they're at now. That was our original. The selectman came back to us and asked us to reconsider maybe changing the two percent and still giving them a step. Change the two percent to one percent. But the problem there is that the schedule gets back to what we had before. For you, need, people at the you, wrong level. you need the cost of living to you need the cost of living. In, in order to get the schedule on, on time. On current. Current, right, on current. Yes. So you need a five percent increase plus a two percent. John, John, that's not what okay. we're saying. We're saying we well, what need, am I what well, am I not okay. getting? We need the two percent. I agree with the two percent. But do my we need problem is going automatically one step increase, which is five percent. That's but, my problem. But you need steps in order to. In order okay, then give them a step, but don't give them the two percent. Well, well, why do you need steps? steps? Why do you need steps? If Joe Smith is doing the same thing this year as Joe year. Smith did it's last year, why should it's he get a raise? Steps. No, but he's doing the same thing. It doesn't need it, the experience. Doesn't matter. Well, There's experience does. Experience does matter. Yes, it does. If he's getting the job done it's the year experience. before, getting it done well, satisfactorily, what should, what should happen? And he and he's doing it satisfactorily this year. There's no difference in the work done. What should happen, in my opinion, is there should be a determination of whether a person gets a increase in the exactly. step. If they yeah. don't deserve it, if they haven't done a very good job, then they shouldn't be getting a step. I don't How think it's necessarily have you good. Ever seen thing? them withhold a pay, a step increase. What's that? How many people have you ever seen them withhold a step increase from anybody? Oh, in in private industry, in private right. industry, yeah. it's all the time. I don't think government. I've ever seen one in a town. Well, maybe not in this town because the bylaws it's not it's down. not. Being you done correctly. That's the problem. We don't. The bylaws have say that they go according to the, the compensation. You automatically get a step increase. It doesn't say automatically. Mm -hmm. It just says steps. Have you ever seen anybody not get one? Past practice is that oh. everyone gets yeah. a step. That's so right. if you're not going to go with past practice, you're going to have trouble. Exactly. We can't that's afford it. And if that's you're going to get a five percent increase for past past practice. Why do you need a two percent? Uh, uh, that's that, the two percent. John, that's not a. That, that, that's not. You're a, mixing up apples and oranges. No, you are. And you're trying to get a. Uh, no. So where are we going to get the money? So the over right. the overall increase for the for the salaries that are in your uh, general fund budget, general general fund budget, the the difference between last year and this year total. If you, if, if you do a 2% COLA and a step increase for each individual is a flat 4.73%. So, so, last week. Well, I just looked at it right. because I brought it over to the selectmen earlier. Three. So it's 4.73%. I'll remember that for next week. So, so that's $55,000 total <coughs> out of an entire $15 million budget. Okay, just thought I'd let you know. And how much is the school increase this year? Three percent. The elementary school is saying three percent. Three percent? They're told plus their step. Plus so the wages are fifteen percent. Plus fifteen percent was the wage increase. No, 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 no. You want to know what the schools look like? No, I'm just not taking notes. I'll just let you know. But <laughs> <laughs> uh, this conversation needs to get back on task. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Are you ready? Okay. Okay. Back on task. John. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so, any uh, any further comments or any further discussion on the, uh, what, what the administrative the assistance, the salary for I the administration? I think the only issue would be whether she's still working 40 hours or how many hours she's working. Other than that, we have to go by whatever the fuck in the site tonight. If they decide. If they decide. So, they how many hours does she work? Oh, she works she at 40 least. 40 hours a week. 40? At least. <laughs> There's some confusion because she gets comp time. Yeah, because we 
everybody so refu many hours everybody so refuses to pay her for extra time so she gets comp time in the evenings when we have meetings that's yeah. Right. yeah okay i make a motion we accept the budget as long as it conforms to the approved salary schedule am i saying that right what we used last time it's probably should have been it said subject to final decision on step increases because we I, I thought we had talked. Right I thought we agreed on the cola. Same and, thing. And, and yeah, I mean, this is this is a budget. This is not what we're going to pay anyone. This is the budget. amount that's being budgeted for this position. And if the selectmen decide, and the town approves, that everybody's going to take a ten percent pay cut, then then the budget would have ten percent extra dollars in it that it, that it needs. I don't expect that that's going to happen. No. <laughs> my, my only concern is even even with making a statement, depending on what the selectmen decide, is I just don't want to have it come back and people say, well, the yeah. finance committee approved this, so this is what it is. And, I, no. you know, when, they, when you throw out numbers like this and that, I, I want to make sure that I feel better voting on specific items yeah, not can. not whether well maybe we'll do this maybe we won't do this and that and i'm concerned that this could get twisted around and somebody could make a statement will the finance committee approve these budgets i think before it was decided i so i think you guys have a motion yeah. on the floor right. we need a second i retract it because i should yeah so what do you want to do? You want to wait until after we go to town meeting and the town approves the salary schedule before we approve the budgets? It, of course, the I know it puts us on a tough spot. But it's been the spot the, that we've been on the, every the, year that I've been on this gonna committee have to be, before. It's going to have to be the board of selectmen. They're going to have to make a decision whether they're going to approve this salary schedule or not. Yeah, once, they, they, once they do that, then, then we should be able to move forward and just... Say it's not and, and we've, we've right. said that if they approve something different than what's here, mm -hmm. Brenda will recalculate the salaries, and we yeah, will no, have I, us I back to I understand to that. I, I do understand that, Skip. I'm not sure. But my concern, else. my concern is, is people are going to say we voted on these. The, the the finance committee voted on these numbers and approved them, even with that caveat. And well, I with just that don't, caveat, they don't they don't stay this right. way. Right. They right. Well, they don't stay that way. They. But let, let me as an, as an example to, to follow up with you, mm -hmm. Jeff. If the selectmen do vote the two percent and the increase, the step increase, we've automatically approved it. Mm -hmm. We've we've cut we've no we can't, all we're doing is voting a budget for this position. Which, Right, which is, includes those two things. Right, so if the selectmen vote that way, he's just saying right. it eliminates it so eliminates us having to yes. go back and so vote. So that means we voted what? We voted the budget. And that's what you're saying. Mm -hmm. You don't want to vote the budget until they vote it. I, I would feel is that what you're asking for? I would feel more comfortable with them voting prior to us. But that doesn't matter. You can make the motion, I'll just abstain. Okay. And once again, I've said before, I am not opposed to raises. Oh, I would just no, like to have, I think it's too much money. Okay. I would just like That's to have right something settled. Well, I would suggest that... Why don't we just pass on this budget and go to the next one? Why don't, um, why don't we not vote on any salary ones right. until we get a... That's what we did last year. Yeah. Right, we, have yeah, we did wait. Last year we did. Same thing. I'll make a motion that we don't vote on any salaries until we get a decision second. from this question. Okay. You're right, that one's done. <laughs> yeah. How many budgets do we have that we're looking at? Well, we have another one. We have two. Two more. Have we already approved some? We have subject two. Copy two. Sub subject two. Do we have the account? A couple of them. I think you're leaving yourselves open to some. Problem mm -hmm. if you That's okay. Let we're going to have to go back. We're going to have to anyway. go back on them anyway. What are these I'm not arguing. I just, you know. Good job. Thank and John, don't, look at our, we this has nothing to do with your budget. I know. I did, I, as far as that I'm goes, not, it's all salary budgets I'm struggling with. I, I hear you. 
How about the assessor's expense? You want to explain that one, John? What do we do? We decide. Are we? Yeah. There, I don't think we voted. Did we? No, we didn't vote anything. So we need to vote right. something. You want to put this on? Lay this on the table, or whatever the term is. The the uh, salary. I Passed think that it. was the de decision. Administrative rate. assistance. In fact, there was a general motion to not vote on any budgets that had a salary included. It's it was a motion. motion and seconded, but no vote. All right. Okay, got it. All right. All those in favor of the motion is presented. Aye. 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 Opposed? No. Okay. Five one zero. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Assessor's expense. Well, <clears throat> unless you want to give us their thirty bucks back. <laughs> <laughs> My only question is: every year you've been we, under considerably. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I noted that too. He's got uh, almost every nine thousand dollars on us. So why don't we reduce it a little bit? Well, one of the problems is, uh, where do I go here? Um, it's getting late. <laughs> we don't know, we don't know in the current year where we're gonna be. Um, and and I, I'm remiss in not getting uh, line item details for each of these things to, to determine what what was expended and what um, you know what wasn't um, first of all oh let's see the um, Software licenses, that's contractual at 55.60, so that's going up a little bit. Uh, online assessments, uh, it's been steady at 2,000. Mapping, um, that's under contract, that's the same. Mapping site data is the same, 850. Mapping support. Same at a thousand. Um, technology. I mean, those most of all of those things are set by contract. We've got contracts with with everyone, and you know those are those are pretty well set. Um, I'm looking at the uh, expenditure report from July of 16 to June of 17. Which is last year's FY18 budget, mm -hmm. the ending budget. FY17. 17 budget. We yeah. had $5,548 unexpended in expenses. Where are you? And FY18 general expenses. FY17. FY17. You had $5,548 unexpended. So he's just saying total. 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 Which you had left, John. Left. Yes. Yes. Oh, here. Yeah, average. Right here. The average yeah. for yeah. years. About that. The average four years, where was it? Uh, one Down to the bottom. Well, yeah. One, yeah. It's been $17,000. It's been Over the past four years. Yeah. So the, that's been the average actual spending. $17, well, one of the, yeah. One of the reasons for that is uh, we never know. Uh, for example, let's take the summer conference for 4000 We never know who's going to that. For sure, yeah. Where'd mm. you all go? No, no, we don't all go. No. Sometimes it, no. it's usually just no. John or I'm the or only one that's Karen. gone for maybe a couple of years. Karen is gone. Karen couldn't go. Uh, maybe in seventeen, I don't remember. I think in seventeen, I was the only one that went, uh, and that's why we re we reduced it from forty-two to four. Um, UMass School is. Uh, we're we're actually probably going to be more than twelve hundred dollars, but because we got two new people, don't forget. Um, and uh, uh, Chuck did not go to UMass. Chuck took it upon himself to go drive all the way to Boston um, to go to a school that doesn't. There's no tuition. A DOR. It was a DOR course. 
and he drove all the way into, you know, one night a week to take that on his own. So, yep. Office supplies, do you actually, is there an allocation made by you, Brenda? To charge them for office supplies. Well, she buys specific things. They buy their own stuff. Yeah. Some of it, they can't. So not not all of it. I mean, they still use some of the things that are here, but but. But that's not things. money that's really not being spent. Right. Right. Or, yeah. or, or it's yeah. in your budget or the town building some budget. Some things they buy specifically. I mean, if we're doubling up, that's all. Right. Yeah, I don't think I don't think so, but I don't I don't know without having uh, a chance to look through and. That's the specialty stuff, like the yeah. K cups. Yeah. There's, there's, on this budget also, there is a difference between some of the other departments, and the other departments are <coughs> departments that report directly to the Board of Assessors. I mean, so the, the selectmen. This is a budget for the Board of Assessors. They do a good job. They turn money so back to the town every year. You know, it's, it's similar to, but obviously a lot different than the schools. So, make a motion we approve this budget. I'll second it. Any further discussion? Can we, yeah, can we put in a line item, like just a negative 2,000 to get it closer to what's been really spent? And just call it, I don't know what to call it, but just overspending prior years, put in the negative 2,000, underspending prior years. It won't make them sound good if you say that overspending from the year. No, I said underspend, I misstated. And just reduce it by two thousand dollars with no particular item. I can't do yeah, that. Why, why you would you that? want to do that? Is my, you know, because I, I think the twenty-one thousand five. But I don't understand why you would want to do that. If we don't spend it, you're going to get it back anyway. Right. I know, but we're trying to make the two and a half percent this year. That's well, that's what a library. It doesn't you know, make sense. The reason, the reason we don't like to over underspend, or over or have excess money, is because that excess money is used. It's already tax. People have already paid taxes on it, so the taxes have already been paid. But people actually, actually, the money doesn't get allocated back to the department. If we got allocated back to the department to reduce your budget the following year, it would make a lot of sense. Mm -hmm. That's but just definitely. I understand what you're saying, right? When it goes into the general, when it goes fund, the general fund, it can go any place. It can go anywhere it wants. The problem is by reducing it. You you may be reducing items that we we need. I understand, we don't, but we don't know. We've had a, a five year look back, and, and I mean I can't understand why you would even okay I'm look just, twice at this. I did not. That's why I made the motion. I know. I under you, you know we've been coming in consistently, John, you keeping it low. Did We're not. Job. I only wanted a five hundred dollar increase, and I totally agree with you. He no didn't answer if he's it. Take your rest thirty dollars back. Decrease. And he's asking for thirty dollar plus. That's right. He's moving in the right direction. You gotta remember years. he's been around for a hundred years. Yep. He's gonna be here for another hundred. Yep. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to vote. We're going to vote. We we there All is a motion. motion. And a second It's been seconded. So that's the motion that's on the table. If you want to vote it down, you can do that. If it gets voted down, then you can make your motion. Okay. So all of, if it gets voted down. All of those in favor of the motion is presented. Aye. 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 Okay. No? No. Five so it's one five zero. one zero. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Am I done? The, no, quinquennial oh. recertification. Oh. <coughs> this is always tough. Yep. If they want to know about that. That's five, right? Quinn. It's quinquennial, yeah. So last year you went you didn't think you needed it because actually last last year we used um, the carry forward. Right. For fiscal year eighteen, but that will pretty much wipe it out. From what um, what I've seen so and what I know, we're looking at a hundred thousand dollars every five years. Basically, right. what you're saying, was, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. And it used to be every twenty thousand. At years. least, at least, currently under the current contract. Right. Okay. Is 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 that does the check get written once a year? Because you only spent thirteen thousand through December. I, I is, believe they they charge as they do the work. Yeah. I I okay. don't yes. know for sure. Okay. Yeah, they charge as they do the work. 
make a motion to approve this? I think I just seconded. I think I just signed it. Well, it's moved and seconded. Any further discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Six zero zero. Thank you, John. Thank you, John. Keep up the work. Now am I done? Yeah, yeah, I think you so. are. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Aren't you glad you came? Good to see you. I got a question for you, though. Yes. Why do you have a phone line with a message that you can leave if nobody gets it? <laughs> <laughs> We've been asking that question. <laughs> As a matter of fact, where does anybody? I was supposed to be here last week, but I called yeah. and left a message a day ahead of time and said I would not be able to make it. But apparently, no one ever got the message. Where'd the message go? To the, the finance, to the there's finance. There's a phone line. You call in here, and you can get the finance, finance committee. Oh, to the, to the finance would be there's, there's a place. The finance committee has a phone. Let's cut that out of the budget. Yeah, that's gone. <laughs> <laughs> and nobody, nobody picks the phone. Up. <laughs> right. I'm thinking to myself. My guess is the planning board probably has one too. <laughs> and every the planning board has board. one too. Yeah. Yeah. Nobody knows it. <laughs> Should be monitoring them. <laughs> Well, you can find it very easily. Mm -hmm. I found it. I've never had any use for it, so I've never looked for it. <laughs> but I did know it was there, and I'm not sure why I knew it was there. Well, um, I lost your number, so I couldn't contact you directly, and I didn't know who to call, and I knew I wasn't going to be able to make it. So, hmm. And what you're do not I do? in Verizon anymore, so you don't get the telephone book. That's right. <laughs> oh, you're in the telephone book? You're in the telephone book? I'm in the telephone book. I don't even know where you live anymore. Uh, uh, technically. I don't never mind. <laughs> uh, but anyway, you go online and it's on the website. Town of, town of Deerfield yep. website. There it is, right Finance there. Committee. Planning. Yep. Planning board. <laughs> Finance committee. Cool. Here's a number. An extension. Wow. We'll hit that one. Three, three, four, three. I think something like that. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I did know it was there, but I have never listened to the messages. <laughs> there probably are, are two out there. <laughs> Yours and some of the sucker who <laughs> called and said he couldn't go. Thank you, John. Thank you, guys. So we'll call you John. back here and get the Keep up the good work, folks. Straightened out. <laughs> you too. <laughs> Okay. Uh, do you want to do the accountant's expenses? Uh, 135, uh, 5400. Make a motion to approve this. Second it. Oh, that's good. <laughs> Any questions? Good call. Pretty straightforward, huh? <laughs> Brenda, you got a type on one of these. I have a typo? Yeah. The, oh, count, the count on your financials is 135.54.20. Step one. Oh, it, well, it, that's the account that I use. Okay. Correct. I just, I didn't. No, it's, and so 5400 is all encompassing. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So this is uh, the count, sorry. accountant's expense. I interrupted a motion. It's all right. No, the motion's been made and seconded. There's no further discussion. Could we have a vote? All those in favor? All right. All right. Opposed? Extensions? Six zero zero. Uh, what's the other budgets? All right. We Let's have see. select board select salaries. Select board salaries. One twenty two fifty one hundred. Don't count in half. That's the one we want to cut. That's the one we want to cut. Back to the, <laughs> back to the uh, assessments. Back to the assessments, you guys. Okay, uh, motion. Or do you want to have some discussion? We need a motion and a second for you. Okay, then I'm going to make a motion we approve this. Second. Moved and second. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Extensions? Carry 600. Zero, zero. Uh, planning board? 175, 5400. Yep. 
we passed over this one before because we weren't sure what John's um, John said when he wanted to do a level budget. But I did confirm with him that he wanted to um, ask for a thousand, which was what was voted last year. What's the number? Uh, uh, 175. So far this year, they spent 119 bucks. All right. Sounds good. We'll have, we'll knock it down to 200 bucks next year. Then. Yep. Or along with the finance committee. Uh, yeah, can I have a motion? Make a motion to approve this. Is there a second? second. It's moved, seconded. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Aye. Extensions? 600. Zero. Five, five zero one. We're over budgeting again. Five zero one. Who abstains? I did. Thank you. Energy Committee, 192 5400. 182 54. It's on 182, I'm sorry. Uh, it's five hundred dollars. What is it? One seventy-two. Does that bear request? Yes. Okay. One eighty-two. One eighty-two. One eighty-two. One eighty-two. Fifty-four. That's too fast. It's five hundred bucks. We have motion make of this. Second. Moved. Seconded. I wonder if I handed that out last week, Mary. Yeah, you didn't get one. Maybe. Um, um, if see. there are. No, there's no discussion. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Extensions? Six zero zero. Uh, Veterans District Assessment. This is 543. 543. 5400. 5400. Can I make a motion to accept it? Second question. Is this okay. the assessment? Oh, here you go, Mary. <laughs> I knew I had something for you. So is this, what was the question again? Is this the... Uh, I made a motion to accept it. And I accept, accept, accept it. There was a question on, somebody made a statement. On uh, the veterans' benefits? Yeah. You know what, Let, let's, let's pass over veterans' benefits tonight because Barbara and I were talking about it today and she wants to give it a little more thought. No, we're doing the assessment, right? The Veterans District Assessment. Veterans District Assessment. Oh, District Assessment. Oh, no. Yeah, okay. No, that one That one is that a definite fine. definite number. Okay. I did receive Thank that. Thank you. That it's, one. Been, it's been moved. It's been seconded. All those in favor? Yeah, yeah, we did that. Yeah. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Staying? Six zero zero. And okay, we're going to skip over the Yeah, let's skip benefits. over the Veterans okay. Benefits. Uh, summer swim program, which is 630, Um, So I can speak to this budget because I went through it with a fine tooth comb with uh, Beth Foley. And um, she just added a couple of small little items, but the, but the change in the budget is that um, they have a revolving fund, and in this revolving fund is where the swim program revenues go. Mm -hmm. We haven't spent out of that budget in years, but you can see in fiscal 18, we budgeted for 4,900 of their budget to come out of that revolving fund. So I didn't feel that we could sustain that, so I'm lowering the amount okay. that we're going to take out of there for fiscal 19 to 3,500. Next year, I'll probably go down to 2,500, just till we get to a point where it's a, it's a decent figure. I just didn't want to um, make any huge changes right. at this point. So um, last year we decreased it by 4,000. That's what. Right. 40, I was 40, just saying that. Yeah. 4,960. We decreased. That's right. Said 4,000. Yeah. Well, we decreased it to 4,000. Yes. Mm -hmm. No. Was. It's, no. The revolving fund was 4,960 though. Right. I'm, we were using that amount out of the revolving fund right. last year, so I've only budgeted a smaller amount this year, and it'll just continue to decrease until we get to a point, because they're only taking in about $1,500 a year with their program. Okay, okay. so their budget last year was $4,000. Yes. And now their budget's going up 45%. Correct. Right. Can I make a motion we approve it? I don't say that. Which one are they doing? Well, what, what, right happened, what happened was they had a budget and we reduced it almost $5,000 right. last year on right. their revolving fund. We had, because it had grown so much because... Oh, we used 49 on the revolving fund. Correct. Right. Right. Yeah. Correct. Right. Right. And so we had a big drop in there. Right. And we're only going 35 this year, which makes it look like there's a big increase, but there really isn't. There really isn't. I mean, you have to leave them. We reduced them by 4000 We only allowed them $4,000, which was... 
Right. We only we because credited they, the cop by forty nine hundred dollars. So, so how do we? So they, we had a, they had a negative budget last year. No, they had an eight thousand no. dollar budget, yeah. and we spent forty nine sixty from the revolving fund. Right. It's a separate fund. There was money in the revolving fund that he All right. And we wanted to spend right. down the revolving fund. Yep. All right. Okay. So we really should take that 45% out of there yes. so people don't. I know, I really, yeah, <laughs> you're right. <laughs> yes and no. Hard to, no. <laughs> so, was, was there a motion? Yeah, I made one. Yeah. Moved, and who seconded it? No, second. I'll second it. Moved and seconded. All those in favor? Uh, aye, aye. Aye. So this is 5810. 600. Zero, yes. zero. 600. Zero, zero. Opposed? Extensions. Tritown Beach. Next item. Next so page. Tritown Beach, I went through also very closely. Um, actually, I looked at the last three years of expenditures um, and uh, made some adjustments to what was there. And I confirmed that with Bill Skrosky. He's fine. So um, we have a budget of what. The town of Deerfield is paying $16,432. Um, I felt like that was more in line with what we've been spending. Are, are we, is this budget, do you handle this budget or? I don't, this is really Bill Skrosky's. So um, this is in Wait Waitley is the, the lead on this. Correct, correct, but he's a very hard man to get a hold of. So Beth Foley and I kind of put it together and we've been adjusting and then finally I got a hold of him and he came in and looked at it and said, fine, it works. So we have an MOU on this? I got MOU it. or? If we do, Remember? it's 40 years old. Or an I MOU. understand. I mean, yeah. I don't. They, they yes, did originally. And it allows, is a percentage by population? Based upon population. What's an MOU? We pay 20 we pay, we, pay we pay 78 and they pay 22. Uh, 77 and 23. Okay. But, yeah. Yeah. Our, our population is going up. This is probably going down. So okay. Yeah, they moved over the line. So, so the number that we're voting is uh, 16,432, right? Right. Correct. Correct. Okay. Let's get a motion. Looks good to me. I'll make the motion. Second. second. Yeah. Moved. Seconded. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Stained. 600. Zero, zero. Uh, Rec department director salaries, we're going to uh, skip that. Skip that, yeah. right? Okay. Did we have another one on that someplace? Was that it? I think that was it. That's all that's okay. on this, uh, uh, on this fees, list here. But the fees pay for the expenses, right? I mean, the fees that come in? Pay for Sue's? Sue's expenses. Isn't that what we For her expenses, yeah. Yeah. correct. Yes. Yeah. Correct. Project, can I get a copy of the uh, summer smoke program? I don't have one. Oh, you want to do sure unemployment can. insurance? No, I can don't. I just give you mine? No, I don't. I'll just take that one. Nope, not all. That's quite a treatment plan. Probably need Kevin, right? You want to stick me to all that? So, <laughs> the question is do we want to meet next Wednesday or Tuesday or month? next week? Wednesday seems to be working for everybody. Wednesday. Wednesday's fine. We Wednesdays, Wednesday's not the best for me, but oh, okay. I can't do Tuesdays right now, so I, I'm uh, conceding. Um, I probably, yeah. after next week, won't be here on a Wednesday for a while. Okay, I'll we'll go for next Wednesday until you get sick of it. <laughs> next week. Okay, so next Wednesday, that's the 31st? Yep. Yep. 6.30 okay. again? Sure. I believe we might have Barbara coming next week. Okay. Yeah, if we if we if Barbara can come next week, that that would be good. Brenda, now you said Wednesdays in the future and uh, and Tuesdays might Tuesdays, be a little. Tuesdays are not good right, for me right now right. until about the middle of February, right, and then Tuesdays will be fine. See where, oh, okay. see what the, I just um, took on a pottery so class with, with my son bought from me. <laughs> so with so. Monday or Thursdays be better for you? Um, the only reason I'm asking is because capital improvement committees. You know, as far as setting oh, those up, I don't right. want to conflict with this year. You know, Mondays and Thursdays are great. Okay. I can't do Mondays until I have to mark second. All right, okay. so you can't do Mondays for a finance committee. Okay, so I can't Mondays. do first Thursdays. Okay. All right. Okay. Well, Mondays then would be fairly safe to say that I could Mondays do the capital improvement. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I could do capital improvement committees. 
Yep. Now, I don't base. want you to feel left out. All right. You're doing a good job. Yeah, yeah, sure. <laughs> How many missing budgets are there? Uh, uh, not very many. Yep, skims. Um, what's that? Skims budget. We we don't we I have a skims budget, but they're um, they're making some adjustments to it. Right. There's um, an oversight board meeting tomorrow night. Right. Uh, we don't have legal expense yet. Contracted services. We don't have uh, the Franklin schools. We don't. Have, we don't. Have, well, we have a sort of a preliminary for the elementary school. Three percent. Yeah. Uh, we don't have the FERCOG core assessment yet. Um, we already voted that. No, no. You voted the veterans oh, district. The Frank County retirement. Yeah, we voted yes, that. retirement we, we did have. Yeah. Uh, we're missing workers' comp, group insurance, medical and in, Medicare insurance. Um, Medical Security Act. I'm still need. I need to research that one. And that's fifty bucks. Yeah. That's a placeholder. Yeah. Mary put that in. Oh, okay. Um, and then and then I know uh, Wendy is working on um, trying to put together a proposal for a planner position. So I know that's not in there. Yeah. So other than that, uh, we have most of them. Um. Of all the salaries that we're looking at, um, all the town employees are on, except for the police and the, and the teachers, are on the comp schedule except for one person, town administrator. Oh, town correct. Administrator. She, has she has a separate contract. Yes. Does her contract allow for a, a certain raise every year? Yes. It's effective January 26th. And is it it's a percentage? No, um, it was uh, eighty-five thousand for the first year, ninety thousand for the second year, and ninety-five thousand for the third. Okay, and after that, that after yeah. that, that's it. She yeah, she three year two and then she retired because she has the last three yes. years. Yeah. Last three years. That's exactly what you want. Ninety thousand average. Eighty percent. Okay, and that was just a question because I was looking at that. It was 5.05 percent. I couldn't figure. We know that's what you said. I couldn't figure it out. Why it was 5.05 percent? 5.1 percent. I got a question. If we, I don't know if Skip needs to be here, but if we don't approve something, the committee, like the OPEB funding, as an example. Yes. Where, do, where does it go? What happens? Does you write that into the report? Huh? You write that into the report. What report? Well, the report that you pass out at town meeting. Yeah. So it stays on here at the amount they requested. Yes. So I can and then at town meeting, it shows that we disagreed. That's yeah. correct. Right. And then the selectmen can speak to it. Yeah. And then That's it gets voted it goes away. on. <laughs> right. It gets so this is the selectmen's budget. No, then? it's our budget. It's they our budget. budget. The selectmen's recommended budget to us. Our budget is prepared as zero or ten thousand. So at the town meeting, it shows our budget ten thousand. Yeah, well, we requested. Requested. recommended. We, I think I we didn't zero. vote anything yet. Right. Oh, you voted it down. We voted it down. Well, I'm just no using that as an example. Whatever it is, we have to vote the, for pencils. I mean, we have to. Right. It's right. a different number than. Yes, it'll be our budget number. Whatever we vote here, it'll be a recommended budget by the selectmen a number, and then our budget voted. And this is what they're recommending. This is in this book. I believe that's correct. Boss, you got any other business or do you want a motion to adjourn? Uh, I'll accept a motion to adjourn. Do you want to go out and listen to the selectmen argue the same thing that we were arguing before? Sure. Yes. So no. make a motion to adjourn. Seconded. Move to seconded. Aye. Aye. Those in favor? Aye. Aye. We are adjourned. <laughs>